Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Ask Josh, where you all not only suggested the questions, you chose which ones I am going to answer. 428 of you submitted 173 questions and cast 9,083 votes. And of those questions and votes, here are the top 10 most popular questions. Are you as animated in everyday conversation as you are in your speeches and videos? Like most people, I have a very wide range of energy that I will use depending on the social situation. So, for example, let's say that you and I were seated beside each other on an airplane and you were asking me annoying questions while I was trying to read, I would answer you with very low energy, one word responses, and or pretend to fall asleep. So, how's, how's it going, man? Fine, thanks. Did you lose that leg in a rock? But if, on the other hand, that plane was about to crash, my energy would rise substantially. <laughs> if you could have dinner with three people, famous, dead, or alive, who would you choose and why? Well, first of all, I don't think that I want to have dinner with anyone who is dead. So, like, um, what, what's your favorite TV show? A, a Walking Dead? Yeah, uh, that's a great show. Really good show. But by the way, you gonna are you gonna eat that? Can we get a little, a little that? So assuming that I'm having dinner with three people who are alive, I would want to have dinner with the writer Tom Wolfe, the blogger Tim Ferriss, and Miley Cyrus. What songs do you sing in the shower? It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Who inspires you? Hank and John Green, AKA the Vlogbrothers. After you wrote your book, is there any part that you wish that you had added? No, actually kind of the opposite. There's several parts that I'm like, oh, I'm not, not really sure that actually I wanted everyone to know that about me. If there was a movie about you, who would you want to play yourself? I think the answer here is very obvious. The guy from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. What movie have you watched the most times? Probably Aladdin. A whole new world! Don't you dare close your eyes! Are you going to finish making videos for the rest of the chapters in your book? Because I love them and your drawings make my day. I'm so glad you guys asked about whether I'm going to finish the Just Don't Fall drawings. In fact, I have a video on this very subject coming out later this week, so stay tuned. If you woke up as a woman, what would be a few things that you would do? Okay, I gotta be honest, I don't understand this question, guys. Like, if I woke up as a woman, do you mean like, if I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? How did I transform genders overnight? Or do you mean, if I woke up as a woman but I still had the mind of a man so I would wanna like, investigate what it's like to be a woman? I do not know what you're asking me here. So I don't know the answer to the question. What do you look for in girls? Most importantly, a girl needs to have confidence, outspokenness, and a minimum of 18 years of age. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And in the comments, let me give you a shot at answering this question. If you woke up as the opposite gender of what you are, what are a few things that you would do? We should hang out sometime. Want to see your face in my next video? Take a picture with my book and email it to photos at joshsunquist.com, upload it to my Facebook fan page, or snap a pic on Daily Booth and tag at Josh Sunquist.